Hello everyone and welcome to the RNG University. So today I'm going to take a break from not pulling any of the stupid Lost Legends and this time I'm going to try to not pull any uh, was it Shock Lens and Galaxy Foils from the brand new Infinity Set! 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 Alright so this is a, a set that does not count according to Wizard. It does not exist. None of these cards are tournament legal, except the ones, except for the ones that are. So it's it's a funky situation. I was a huge fan of the unset back in the days. I bought a bunch of uh, unhinged uh, when it first came out, and then I bought a lot of unstable. Unfortunately, the unstable ones are just really not as flavorful as unhinged ones. Let's see if Unfinity is going to do a lot better. So so far from the some of the spoilers I saw, some of the cards that I seen, it seems pretty cool. We got a box topper. This time, not completely useless. Maybe, maybe. All right, so box hopper goes over here. And then we have 12 packs of amazingly fake cards that does not exist. So let's uh, look at these packs one by one, shall we? Uh, starting with pack number one. All right, I'm really hoping to get some cool galaxy foils. I'm um, really, that's all I'm opening these packs for anyways. But hey, maybe there are some cool token cards or apparently there are some sticker cards in here right here. Uh, we got... Our Ard Wolf, uh, Ard Wolf Advantage. Uh, Acorn means not tournament legal. I think that's how it works. So Acorn does not matter. Uh, we got the uh, Tickimaton. Uh, Tickimaton is uh, give us tickets. So here's something that, I, that bothers me. I thought all the ticket cards and sticker cards are not tournament legal. But hey, this is a tournament legal card. It's got ticker, this is the ticker tickets on it, and it's gonna get all confusing. So uh, I don't think any of these cards are worth that much money. The big top that looks cool. Add one man of any color that appears on your top. It's not tournament legal, but it's a cool idea. And then we got the roller coaster. Uh, it is visit creature uh, whenever you visit, which uh, basically when you're at the attraction and you roll, if you get a five or a six, uh, you get the visibility where your creatures you control get plus two plus zero. That's our borderless. And then we got the goblin uh, crucible blacks, black, black, ballast, All right, not legal. Uh, I think this is our galaxy foil. I don't know if you can see it. It's got that cool star wipe in the background. I don't know if that's galaxy foil. It's a different type of foiling. Oh, I think it's a sticker. I oh, know these aren't stickers. I don't know what's going on. All right, so this is an alternate foil. Uh, and then we have the uh, cool galaxy foil Nocturnal of Myra Marvel. Right? That's another foil. And then we got Roxy, the publicist to the stars. Again, not an acorn. So this is actually legal. Is power equal to the number of permanent you control with an R sticker plus the number of cards in your graveyard with an R? Our stickers. I don't. I don't want to put stickers on my cards, honestly. But it is a thing. Oh, an un, unstable rare. That's in our. Uh, I guess that's a list rare. Uh, it's the one where you can attach, right? So it's an angelic rocket. You can attach either the left end to, uh, to get angelic something, or the right end to get something rocket. So, cool card. Back in the days, so I thought it was a gimmicky mechanic, but a cool mechanic nevertheless. But never, never took off. And then we got. Katarina of Mara's Marvel, not legal, but it's partner, so they're gonna be non-legal commanders. I don't know who's gonna really play these, but looks fun, right? All right, and then we got a awesome, awesome looking island. Look at that island. How's that an island? That's an entire planet. That planet island? I don't know, but it's a cool land. All right, so, okay, so I'm pretty sure this is the galaxy foil land, right? This is a galaxy foil mountain. Oh my God, this is so shiny. All right, just for this car alone, this pack is probably worth it to me. I'm not saying monetary value wise, I don't know, but it's so cool. I, I love keeping these. I might go uh, buy a, you know, crap load. <laughs> All right, so we got the food token and we have the clown robot. These, these tokens are also cool. Tokens are always cool. And that's also what I appreciated from an unstable set is that they had really, really cool tokens. And, you know, tokens are technically legal. You can put in your deck. But not your deck. We can put it on the side with your deck and run them when you play tournaments. So, yeah, tokens are extremely cool. That's our first pack. We got two some somewhat weird looking lands. Pack number two. We got Crow Kid something. Not no no nothing really here matters. Uh, not too much anyways. And we got the Pick a Beeble. Beebles are cool. Pick a Beeble. Uh, and yeah, these are actually tournament legal. That's really tripping me up right now because. How are they legal? And we got to Tochatsky Elemental. I think that's a rare. 
it's kind of sticky to the background. I don't know why, but it's sticking to the next card. And they're not stickers, they're just sticky. Which is weird. The rare goes here, I guess. This is a rare. Uh, I don't even know how to sort these anymore. All right, Galaxy Foil, uh, or some sort of foil with the stars on it. That is a uh, Petra Crafter of Clowns. Knife and Death. Not legal. Go away. Uh, Space Goblin. Uh, Space Family Goblinson. Ah, uh, cool card. Uh, it is legal. Whenever it has tr or, uh, it has trample, as long as you roll three more dice in a turn, and it put, uh, whenever you roll a die, you put a plus one counter on it. So. Die roll central here. Oh, look at that! Sort of Dungeons and Dragons! I think I pulled one of these in my unhinge uh, or unstable um, box opening. I got another one. I don't know what symbol that is. Is that unhinge, unstable, connected? Because it's a mythic? Because this one from the list, it's just unstable. So it's a little bit weird, but it's a cool card nevertheless. The most dangerous gamer is legal. Death touch uh, enters the battlefield or attacks. You can start an attraction. So it's an attraction car. Uh, make an attraction deck somehow. Also can be a commander, which is kind of funky. Oh, look at that forest. Look at that forest. Oh my gosh. All right, that forest is extremely cool. And then we got the galaxy foil. I'm going to put the galaxy foil here. Galaxy foil swamp. Oh, well, this is not just one planet. This is like... Uh, an actual swamp this time. Very cool. We got another Kong robot on the back. Treasures. I'm actually starting to wonder where you get the, the stickers. Because I haven't pulled any sticker cards. I have cards that, you know, uh, require stickers. But if you don't get stickers from packs, is, is Wizard going to give some to us? All right. Third pack, we got uh, Electrocute. Something Osaurus. A bunch of random cards. And then we got Bounce Chamber. Uh, return a creature you control with the lowest toughness among creatures you don't control. Wait, what? Oh, you don't control with the lowest toughness among all creatures you don't control to its owner's hand. So, you know, a, a consistent bounce. Far out, dude. Not turn them illegal. Don't care. Uh, it is mythic, but hey, I, I don't, you know, not going to be able to play these anyways. A back check. Not turn them illegal. Cool looking foil. Visthros. Awesome looking foil. Not legal with the acorn, but hey, it looks really, really cool. And I think this is one of the uh, unlockable avatar you can get on um, Arena. So that's that's cool flavor to me. It is, anyways. Uh, DJ, uh, D, DJ DK Finder of the Lost. This is legal. This is all about um, attractions. Again, so you know, uh, roll dice, attractions. You could probably make a cool combo deck with that uh, in in the current meta, which is kind of funny. All right, we got X. Another um, unglue. Or not unglue. I wish it's unglue. Un unstable rare from the list here. And what's funny about this is that its name is so short, right? There are some unstable cards that care about names. And this is definitely will trigger that. Oh, we got another Vithros. That's, that's funny. Right? Double Vithros in the one pack. We got a Swamp. The same Swamp we got before, but not Galaxy Rare. Or the Galaxy Foil. And this is Galaxy Foil. Uh, island. Uh, the same Island that we got before, but not... Uh, this one is Galaxy Foil. And we got, ooh, teddy bears, 2-2. Two, two. It is a bear, 2-2 two, two bears are fair. And then, oh, a treasure token. This this reminds me of Fifth Element. Very cool. I think that's what they're trying to go for anyways. Yeah. Employee of the month. Okay, so those are cool packs. Uh, no, no, no fetch. Yep, but no shock lands here yet. But some of these lands, just, just the lands alone, I, I really appreciate. All right, and then we got the cover the spot. Cover the spot, uh, drop three cards you own from outside. Oh, it's not legal. Okay, some attractions are apparently not tournament legal, so I'm not going to read those. No one cares. Ignacio Maris Marvel, not legal. Blubberfish, not legal. Uh, these are galaxy foils, though, so the foiling is... I mean, okay, on camera, it does not look that amazing, but uh, trust me, it is... It, when you can see it with your eyes, oh my god. These, these are the foils that I wish they always had. And uh, Claire the Loom, not legal, not gonna read it. Uh, Spinneret and Arachnobat Arachno, Arachno is legal. Uh, enter the battlefield, open an attraction. As long as you control three attractions, gets plus two, plus two. Attractions are artifacts, so you can technically get rid of them. Oh, another list card, uh, Mythic. And this is from uh, Unstable. Again, all these Unstable cards. Silver Border, not legal, not really a point to it, other than, you know, for the rarity and collection sake. But yeah, I'm gonna put that on site. We, I guess we get a list card every every pack. 
that's pretty cool. Uh, trust Chief Engineer. Um, not legal. Go away. Planes. Cool looking planes. But we're going to get next car. Island. Galaxy 4 Island again. Just so beautiful. And we got a squirrel. Cute little guy. On the back, food token. Oh, that's, that, that's kind of scary. Did we just turn this squirrel into a food? All right, so that's pack number four. Uh, I hear that you get about one or two uh, shock lens per box, which is very unfortunate for how cool it is. But hey, you know, that's that's how they keep the price up, I guess. I still haven't gotten a single sticker card, or maybe I'm missing them, but I've not seen them. This is legal attraction, uh, swinging ship. After visiting the first com after the first combat phase this turn, there's an addition. Oh my, additional combat every time you visit. That's so good. And they just put that in in the standard or not the standard, but the current format to play commander. That's crazy. Treacherous trapeze not legal. Uh, pin collection is legal. Into the battlefield, you may put a sticker. Okay, I don't care about stickers. Exchange of words. I think this is one of the cards that people are talking about. It's actually really good. Uh, enter the battlefield, choose two target creatures. For as long as the exchange of word remain on the battlefield, exchange a text box of those creatures. So basically, you just change what the entire creatures are for, you know, as long as this card's on the battlefield. It's an amazing ability, especially you can take away your opponent's commander, right? Brim Brome, uh, Midway Mobster, not legal, go away. Uh, or another um, list card that is unstable. All right, can't be played. I don't know why they have this if it cannot be played. They should just stick the acorn there for some reason. All right, Magar, the uh, uh, magic strings. This is legal. Uh, it's, I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of starting to get blurry. Uh, note the name of target instant or sorcery card in your graveyard and put it on the battlefield face down. So it's kind of like manifest slash morphing your instant or sorcery. Uh, but it's a 3-3 creature. And then uh, when it deals damage, you can copy it. Uh, copy that instant. That's pretty fun. Oh, now the real thing begin. Breeding pool. All right, now Galaxy Foil, but full R Foil Borderless, nevertheless. Beautiful, beautiful car. And then a mountain, Galaxy Foil. I'll put that here. That's cool. That's cool. Very, very happy about that. Oh, a cat. Why is a cat flying? Do cats fly? I, I have no idea. I, I've never seen a cat before in my life. All right, treasure. This is a cool treasure. Second artifact. Uh, sack this artifact to gain one mana. I don't know why I'm reading treasure abilities. But this is a cool looking treasure. So that that's a cool pack. I got a cool token. I got a uh, borderless full art shock land. And now we got the uh, Robo Piñata. I, I never get why these sticker cards are tournament legal. Like, what are they trying to get? Also, I didn't get a single sticker car. Like, what are we supposed to do with this? Spinning, spinning ride, spinny ride. Ta tap target creature and opponent controls. Nah, that's that's a, that's nothing. That's common for common reasons. Clown car. Uh, everyone's getting into this car to play, play Magic the Gathering nowadays. So that it is what it is, right? Uh, and then we got Grabby Tabby. He's very grabby and very legal. Has vigilance as long as you control a sticker. Oh, all these legal cards include stickers. That's really, really annoying. Angelic Herald. This is one of the earlier spoil cards. Uh, unfortunately, not legal, so no one really cares. We've got another mythic here. Do it yourself, as uh, do it yourself, Seraph. Uh, I remember pulling this in the unboxing um, for my unstable box. So you know, I got another one. Cool. Yeah, go away. All right, and then we got Nocturnal Mirrors Marvel. Not legal. Don't care. Here is a forest. Very cool. Uh, not galaxy foil. Here is a swamp that is a galaxy foil. Oh, this swamp actually looks super nice. I don't know if you can see it from the camera here, but um, you see the stardust in the background? Oh, it looks so dark without it, but if you glisten it in the lighting, you can see the stardust. Oh, galaxy foils are amazing. All right, and then we got clown robot again with food. I think we got that same token before. All right, halfway through the box, uh, one shock. No Galaxy Foil Shock, but hey, that's why the Galaxy Foil Shocks are like 100 something each. I think the big ones are going for 200. I don't, I don't really understand why is there a difference. No one's, I don't know how many people are going to go and put these in their deck. I mean, I, I know I wouldn't. I'm kind of scared about damaging it. All right, we got Trivia Contest, not legal. Uh, mobile Clone, not legal. 
uh, amped up, not legal. I think I'm just gonna skip out a non-legal card. D00DL, uh, the Space Goblin Robinson, uh, Goblinson again. All right, it goes over there. Masterful Ninja, uh, unglue or unstable. Uh, another D00DL, I mean, you got a lot of repeats uh, for these packs, which is kind of unfortunate. But hey, there's not that many cars in the set, right? So we got Mountain, and then Galaxy Foil Planes. Very shiny. And then we got another Kong robot that turns into a treasure. All right, so more than halfway through the box. So far, in my opinion, like all the other cards, they're pretty fun. And in a draft format, this will be an exciting game. Other than that, I'm, no one's really going to play with the non-tournament legal cards in, even for a friendly game. I don't think these Acorn cards that will show up in any game because people are just going to hate you. So, uh, and they're not janky, right? They're, they're not... A lot of these are about, you know, stickers. A lot of these are about names. They're just not as fun as back in the days when we were playing Unglue or Unhinge, where you, it was about, hey, if you're taller than the other guy, this gets a plus one. If you're shorter, it gets it gets a plus zero, plus one. Uh, and if uh, you attack and you shout something in the middle of your attack, it gains first strike or something. Those were fun, right? They're janky and it's unexpected and it throws a different dimension to the game, which is what I like about Unglue, right? Uh, or Unhinge, too. Uh, create a 1-1 one, one White Clown Robot. You know, this is just like... The flavor is not there for me. Standard Procedure. Reveal a standard procedure from your hand. Choose an instant sorcery card with mana value 3 or less. Currently legal in a standard format. Standard Procedure becomes that. Ooh. Oh, it's not legal. What, what am I reading this for? It was so good. And I found out it's not useful. All right, exit through the gift shop. Ambassador, blah, 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 blah. Uh, even even though it's legal, it has those uh, sticker things or ticket things, and people are just really not going to play it. But box art, hey, box art, box art buddy here. Clock napper, it's like kidnapper except they steal clocks. And then we got another mirror, the magnificent. Uh, I think we had this before here. Uh, whenever you cast an instant sorcery spell from your hand, open an attraction, and then attraction uh, synergy, right? Instant sorcery on your graveyard, uh, and then you can choose an attraction, blah, blah, blah. It's attraction synergy. And basically, they're trying to really push attraction, which is weird because you don't really want to push anything in an unset. You want people to have fun with janky, you know, alternate dimension stuff. But hey, wizard's choice. Uh, Nylon, and then, oh, the same island, but Galaxy Four. And we got a teddy bear that is a, ooh, a balloon. I don't think I have this token before. How does a balloon attack people? Why, why does a balloon have tough power and toughness? I get that it has toughness because it takes something to pop a balloon, but how does that power? How does a balloon have the same toughness as a as a human uh, soldier, a 1-1? One, one? Now, this is an unset. You can have one halves of toughness. You should also have like one quarter toughness nowadays for unsets, anyways. I'm just gonna keep moving on because that's what I liked about Unhinged too because they had the one half power. It looks very dumb, but it was fun. All right, we got Balloon Stand. This is how you make balloons. Uh, balloons are creatures that does damage apparently. All right, Soul Performer, uh, not legal. Dissatisfied Customer. Oh, Wizard, you, you should not have printed this card. This is gonna be in everyone's like video thumbnail from now on. Uh, Flying Haste. When it enters the battlefield, roll a six-sided die. If a result is three or less, you lose that much. It should just say you lose game. You lose the game. That's basically what Wizard wants you to play anyways. Uh, it's dumb and it's fun. How is this a part three? Not legal. Go away. Tusk Whisker is legal. Sticker. Go away. Uh, Earl of the Squirrel. Very cool art. Just look at that art. This is amazing. Uh, I don't care about the ability because it's an unstable card, but... This kind of art is what makes magic special. Like, just look at this squirrel guy. He's the Earl. All right, we got Floral of Mirrors Marvel. Again, not legal. Oh, this forest looks amazing. Even though it's an entire planet, uh, this forest looks amazing. Same forest, not in Galaxy Foil. All right, that's something. And then we got a squirrel, who's not an Earl, into a storm... Ooh. Tolkien Stormcrow, of course. Is Wizards making fun of itself? Is Wizards capable of making fun of itself? All right, and then we have boing. I like making that sound effect. Uh, Kitty Coaster is legal. Creature control gives one plus zero. Don't care. Starlight Spectator is legal. Okay, let's see what it does. At the beginning of your combat on your turn, choose creatures you control one at a time until each creature you control has been chosen. Each of those creatures gives plus one plus one until the end of turn. 
for each creature chosen before it. That is very wordy and very weird, but I guess you could... It is a thing, right? It's an enchantment that pumps out your creature if you have a big boar. So in EDH, this definitely is a thing. But I don't see it being played. It's just a big uh, anthem effect that is way better than normal anthem effects. All right, now we got Complaint Clerk. Can we go Complain? Uh, in terms of Battlefield, Attraction. Okay, Attractions. Oh, this card, this card is fun. Form of the Approach of the Second Sun. If any card should be tournament legal, it's this card. You balance this on your head, and then you become Approach of the Seventh Sun. Or, no, you, have, you balance six cards on your head. And basically, when you draw yourself, you win the game. <laughs> I'm not really dumb, but hey. It, 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 this is what makes Unsets fun. I... I Love cards like this. This is why I would want to play an unset with my friends to, you know, get together and here I'm going to put six cards on my head and come on, push me and then I, I'll die or something like that. It's fun. It's dumb. Brim again. Uh, and we got half of a card, Serpentine. And this is what Magic used to do uh, back in the un unstable days. And then we got Grand Marshal Marcy. Not legal. Cool art. Very cool foil. We got a lot of mythics. They they basically crammed like two or three mythics per pack. But the mythics are worthless, so it is what it is. Uh, same swamp. We've been getting the same land in the foil and the uh, whatever this is called again, um, galaxy foil. But four our lands are always appreciated, anyways. Zombie employee food. Did that zombie employee make my food? That's that's a cool sort of a uh, art. Right, you can see that they're holding something. Oh, they're brains. That's eating, that guy's eating a burger, and there's burgers in the back, so are those burgers made of brains? That's cool. That's very cool. All right, so we only got one shock land, though. That's shocking. And we got non-human can cannibal. What's, what's the fun in that? That's a regular cannibal. And then we got a trash bin. Uh, uncommon, so it's probably a little bit better than normal. Mill two car, then return a car at random from your graveyard to your hand. You don't want to mill your whole deck, so I don't know how good that is. Meet and greet Sese, not legal. Uh, even though Sese was so good in, in Commander, right? Uh, Vidalkin Squirrel Whacker is legal. But uh, as Vidalkin Squirrel Whacker into the battlefield, roll a six sided die twice. Its base power uh, is equal to the first result, and its toughness is equal to the second result. If you were roll one or more six sided die, roll them, and you may exchange the results with its power and toughness. So, at best, right, it's a four mana six six, which is nothing. Uh, in today's meta anyway, so it's just a trash card. All right, uh, this card is, looks really cool for a commander. You get to tap six, you just roll a die. And whenever you roll three or higher, it, it gains some abilities. Four or five higher, uh, it gains additional abilities. It roll a d20, it probably get all the abilities. Very cool commander, but I don't know how many of you are going to run decks like these. And then we got Cramp Bunker, uh, unglue, uh, unstable. Hardy of Mirror's Marvel. I think we got all of the Mirror's Marvels in these cool-looking foils, so that's cool. Uh, mountain. Forest. And, oh, Flying Cat. Flying Cat and uh, Flying Treasure. Wow, well, last pack. So we really only got one uh, un borderless unshock land. That's... I, I, I would say that's shocking, but given my track record, I think that's warranted. Dart Throw. Uh, this is a common, so it's probably trash. I uh, throw a car you own outside the game. Uh, okay, not not legal. Not gonna read it. Uh, not legal. It came from Planet Glur. Uh, scare stiff. Scare skip has menace as long as you control a sticker. Uh, it's all these sticker things that just make people not want to play it. I might make a commander with this. This is a really cool looking car, and I love her ability. Now we didn't get Richard Garfield, but we got a Cornelia, uh, fashionable fl flincher, something. Uh, the most dangerous gamer. I think we got one of these before already. And then we got planes uh, and the mountain. Okay, so yeah, we th those are all the Galaxy 4 that we got. We have a clown robot food. And now the box topper top loader. Uh, we're going to open this very carefully. And hopefully I don't damage the card. Again, Wizard keep doing this. They have, they have these without like some way to tear sideways. And there's only one card in the pack, so there's... Almost no way for me to not destroy it. All right, the trick is to kind of find the the triple fold here and pull on that so the pack opens up. 
got to be very careful with this one car here, right? At least the back is not that 30th anniversary stuff. Ugh. We got Hollow Fountain Borderless Foil. That's cool. So we got two in this box. Uh, not what I expected, honestly. I thought I'd get more than that. No Galaxy Foil. I did expect that because, you know, you, you know my luck here. Uh, but these are blue, so that's... At least that's good, right? And I got a lot of Borderless Lands. These lands are definitely going to decks. Very, very cool. I'm going to collect a whole... Like a whole binder of them. And I might collect also a whole binder of these Galaxy Foils. All of these are worth money. Maybe 3 or $4 each. These are probably worth about... I would say a dollar to fifty cents each. I know the open market might be different, uh, but I'm expecting them those to cool down a bit. None of these cards are worth anything. All, all of this is worth maybe a penny. And then these two, I don't know. That that's what you're hoping for monetary wise in this whole set. It's probably here, uh, but the fun factor is here. There are so many cards here that I think is amazingly fun, and I'm gonna make decks with them, and then you know have that rule zero conversation. Uh, ask, hey, is it okay to have plenty on Infinity Set? Don't worry, there are no sticker cards because no one likes those. But there's some fun cards like Form of the Approach of the Second Sun. It's still my favorite card from the set. It's so janky and dumb. All right, that's what I got for today. Thank you very much for joining me. Next time, I'm probably going to not get another uh, Lost Legend again because I still have some box to open from that. All right, thank you very much. See you guys next time.